Hello friends, this video on chemical kinetics part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear for exam. Let's talk about the last topic where we are talking about the effect of catalyst on the rate of reaction. And we have seen that the collision theory helps to understand this better. See, catalyst is a substance that allows or that alters the rate of reaction without undergoing any permanent chemical change. For example, when we eat food, the digestion is done by catalyst. They, they are not consumed right, in the reaction, but they increase the rate of reaction. Correct? So they, they do this by doing two things. They either lower the activation energy of the system or they increase the effective collision. See, for a reaction to happen, there are two important things as per collision theory. First is the activation energy, the second is the effective collision. So they are reducing the activation energy of the system and they are also increasing the effective collision. So in this slide, let's see how they are increasing the active activation energy of the system or they are reducing. They reduce activation energy of the system and they increase the effective collision. So to reduce activation energy of the system, they provide an alternate pathway. Right? So they help in forming complex intermediate easily by forming temporary bonds sometimes with the reactants and or sometimes they provide an alternate pathway. Right? So with this, the energy of activation is less. For example, if you see without catalyst is the normal line. Energy of activation is this much. With, with catalyst is the dotted line. Energy of activation is less. Why? Because they are providing alternate pathway. Right? And with this, the potential barrier is reduced. The potential barrier was here. Now the potential barrier is here. The dot is with catalyst. And the normal one is without any catalyst. Right? So lower activation energy means faster reaction. So lower activation energy implies faster reaction. So they help to lower activation energy either by providing alternate pathway or they form temporary bonds with the reactant with that it is easy to form complex intermediate. Right? Please note a small amount of catalyst can catalyze a large amount of reaction. And these catalysts, they don't change the delta G of the reaction. Delta G of the reaction is not changed. Gibbs free energy of the reaction is not changed. And it is, catalyst is helpful only in the spontaneous reaction. Only in the spontaneous reaction, it can just increase the rate of reaction. It can't make a non-spontaneous reaction, spontaneous reaction. It can't do. Because end of the day, if you see delta H is same, this is the value of delta H. With catalyst, without catalyst, delta H is same. Only the barrier, the potential barrier is lesser now, right? It has to cross this path. It is easy to cross, then this path is difficult to cross. But the delta H between the reactant and product is same. And it has to be negative. That means it is only for the spontaneous reaction. And the catalyst, they don't, they don't change equilibrium constant of the reaction. So e equilibrium constant, there is no impact by catalyst. Why? Because it catalyzes both forward and backward direction. So it increases the rate of reaction for both forward and backward direction. If you see here, for the backward direction also, if you see earlier, this was the threshold energy. Now, this is the threshold energy. So the threshold energy has decreased for both forward and backward direction. Right? Or activation and in fact activation energy has decreased for both backward and forward direction. So it increases both forward and backward direction. It just helps a reaction to attain equilibrium faster. That's all. It won't change delta H of the system, it won't change delta G of the system, it won't change equilibrium portion of the system, it won't change anything. The only thing is it will help to attain the equilibrium faster, or it will just increase the rate of reaction, both forward reaction and let's see how this. Catalyst helps to provide effective collision. So if you see, on the left hand side we have a scenario where we have without catalyst. Sometimes, on the right hand side we have scenario with catalyst. And this is the target which has to be hit by this car. Catalyst sometimes provides opportunity or holds on the target so that the reaction is faster, the orientation is better. Or sometimes it even provides some structure if you see in this car on the left hand side they have got special structure. With that, the collision is effective. 
right so collagen helps to sorry the catalyst helps to improve effective collagen they do it by various means one is sometimes they stop or they block the target so that the molecules can hit it hard easily so here if you see here is without collision the activation energy of the molecule is same in both case both both are hitting at the same speed the molecule itself is same both are the same car but the number of collision and the effective collision is less on the left hand side on the right hand side the number of collision is also more because you see because of the catalyst the catalyst is nothing but the hand which is holding this target so the collision is more plus it is also providing this special structure to the car because of this special structure the collision is also more effective thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again